Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gears and Guns with Gary Gunnar Simonov. I am Gary Gunnar Simonov. In addition to bad accents, today we have a Mosin Nagant, aka 9130, aka 3 Line Rifle, aka the Moist Nugget, and aka the Garbage Rod. And I was going to give a little defense to this much maligned firearm in this video. And now, I'm not going to say this is the best rifle of the Second World War, or even the best rifle of the Great War, but I will say that they are unfairly treated, specifically in regards to the stripper clips. Mauser and Enfield fanboys always talk about how great their stripper clips are and dismiss the lowly Mosin. But what sort of stripper clips do you actually associate with the Mosin? These are the stripper clips you can find typically in every gun show, pawn shop, gun store, auction house, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, or dog house. And these are straight up wish.com level Chinese knockoff garbage. They don't retain the rounds very well. They don't discharge the rounds very well. They're kind of sharp along the edges and are poorly made overall. They are even trying to pass themselves off as something better. See the little T stamp right there? That's mimicking Tika from Finland. And the Finnish had a similar design to their stripper clips that had these little fingers on them. But this aftermarket nonsense is not made to any military specifications in any way and these are mostly what you find on the American market. Now, I have here a few real EGF stamped stripper clips, and I thought we'd do a little side-by-side -side comparison. We will do several test strips, placing them side-by-side -side in the video for comparison. I'm no expert on this, but I am going to vary it up, changing from one to the other so I don't get too used to it. And we will see if you can tell a difference. Top round slipped out of the track completely. I did want to share one strategy that I remembered after doing one of the real and one of the knockoffs, and that is to lift up the top round and use it to push down the others. It actually makes it go fairly simple. Now I'm clearly not an expert with stripper clips. I'm also left-handed, which you may have noticed with footage, also helped with the angle to show what I was doing. You can still find these original Russian stripper clips if you look around for them. Sometimes you can find them for sale, still loaded with the 7.62x54R cartridge, or you can find them used from individuals or stores. I think I spent maybe $2 a piece on these just to try them out, but I've seen them for sale at higher prices too. Anyways, I just wanted to put this video together because I got these real stripper clips. I wanted to test them out against the Chinese knockoff ones. Actually, by the end of it, the Chinese knockoff ones didn't do as bad as I imagined, but you'll be able to see that in footage before I had this all put together. Please let me know what you think in the comments or if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel for more content and like the video. It helps out. Thanks for watching.